Nigga, the funny part is you've never had, you've never touched a fucking beautiful nipple. Are you sure? Shut because if up. I if I needed to be alive, I needed to suck my mom's tits. If I needed to be alive, I needed to suck my mom's tits. So I'm Actually, pretty no. sure I have the tits. Nigga, those were fucking rubber ass shit. Nigga. I've Shut touched up. my mom's titties and I drank all the milk. I drank it dry like the Mojave <laughs> Desert. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. <laughs> Guess what came in the mail today? Yo, what is up, guys? Colt Rex here. Today, we got a Black Ops 2 video. Now, obviously, I can barely play in this freaking thing, so I'm not doing this live. I'm actually just going to do this over a gameplay in my theater. But yeah, with Halloween being only a couple of days away, I went ahead and I got myself a uh, morph suit. It's actually camouflaged last year. If you guys are... Last year, I wore this. Look at this. Last year, I had a tie-dye morph suit. A bunch of different colors of the rainbow and stuff like that. And that was last year's Halloween costume. And this year I figured, well, since I'm addicted to Call of Duty, I might as well order a camouflage morph suit. But yeah, guys, I actually will be turning up this Halloween. I'm actually going to go to some Halloween event. It's going to be really cool. But anyways, guys, for today's video, I actually have a different story to tell you guys. So um, this actually happened yesterday at my school. And around the time of the holidays, especially Halloween, a lot of kids like to dress up. A lot of kids in my school actually come as morph suits. Um, I know I told you guys the story of how the Secret Service came to my school and they were dressed up all in like suits and ties like the Men in Black Secret Service. But um, this time there was actually more morph suits uh, two days ago or yesterday. And basically what happened is that I'm sitting here in my six period Spanish class, right? And then, you know, it's probably my most boring class. I've said it before. I don't know Spanish and the teacher doesn't know any English. And the problem is I'm taking a Spanish class for non-speakers. Which means that I don't speak any Spanish. How am I supposed to learn Spanish if the teacher doesn't even speak Spanish? You know what I mean? So yeah, guys, it's boring as hell. We're just reading. I think they're reading a book or they're reading an article about something. And all of a sudden, I'm half asleep, by the way, because I could care less. I could be less interested in what they were reading in Spanish, the language that I don't even know. So I'm just trying to doze off. I'm half asleep, and all of a sudden, I just hear footsteps. All you hear is footsteps running down the hallway. We're like, what the hell was that? But then, you know, we kind of just disregarded it, and then we kept going, and then about another five minutes later, you hear it again. Footsteps and laughing just running down the hallway. The second time, we kind of thought about it, and then we just forgot about it, and then the third time, we heard footsteps, and then we heard a knock on the door, and they actually ding-dong ditched my teacher. And then my teacher went to the door. He opens up the door to see what they were doing. He looks around. He actually asked me to hold the door while he goes to see where they went or what they were doing. He couldn't find them, so we're just like, okay, that was weird. We go back in the class, and about five seconds later, we start wondering, what the hell is this smell? I kid you not, guys, it smelled so bad. And I guess I put the pieces of the puzzle together, and I kind of figured what they were doing is every time they would run by when we'd hear the footsteps, is they'd actually drop in the stink bombs around the hallway and then the fourth or third time that they ran by and they knocked on the door they ding dong ditched my teacher and basically tricked him into opening the door that way the five the stink bombs would actually come into the classroom and guys when i tell you it reeked it reeked i mean the best way for me to explain it was think about the episode of spongebob when patrick gets a new nose and then spongebob and squidward are so sick of patrick's new nose that they go to the gym and they gather a bunch of smelly socks they get a bunch of old rotten food and they mix it all into one big ass thing and make a giant concoction of just pure anal and that's exactly what it smelled like i mean it was really bad and you know the craziest part is our teacher he did actually didn't even smell it he did not smell it one bit whatsoever so every single kid in the class is sitting there with our shirts covering our noses trying not to smell it and meanwhile our spanish teacher can't even smell it and then he has the audacity to start getting mad at us he was getting mad because nobody wanted to participate in reading because everybody was too busy worrying about the horrible stench and covering our noses. So, you know, he was getting mad at us for actually worrying about the smell more than the reading. And I mean, it smelled. I mean, come on. What are you going to do about it? So then what he does is he goes on about a 30 minute lecture, 30 minutes of just bitching and complaining about how we're being disrespectful, how we're not following the rules, how we're not participating. And then he takes away all the reading material and he gives us all F's. Even the ones that were paying attention and doing the work 
doing the reading, he gave them all F's. And what he did is he actually went to his desk and he took out the student code of conduct. Now the student code of conduct is basically how to be a good citizen. It's the rules that you gotta follow in order to be a nice student. And he basically forces us to read the entire student code of conduct, which is basically the big ass contract. And I'd say it took us about another 30 to 45 minutes just to read through that entire thing. And you know, I guess that was his way of punishing us. But I mean, at the end of the day, it still smelled. I remember in the middle of reading the student code of conduct, I actually fell asleep. And then surprisingly, usually when I fall asleep, my teacher knocks on your desk to wake you up. But he just let me sleep. The bell rang and I woke up. My friend was like, oh, dude, you fell asleep. I'm like, oh, crap. Did he say anything when I was sleeping? He said, no, he just looked at you. He just ignored you. I was like, okay, you know, that was pretty cool. But um, yeah, even when I woke up 30 minutes later, the smell was still there. So I took a big ass breath. <gasps> And I sprinted my ass out the hallway, out to the outside where my bus was waiting for me, came home, and now I'm recording this video. And guys, that's pretty much all I gotta say. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. Let me know if you guys wanna hear more stories, because I do have a couple of more stories from my school experiences and stuff like that. So yeah, let me know. Anyways, guys, it's been with Ruxby or Corex, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.